Today we compare two types of proxy servers, forward proxy and reverse proxy. Both act as intermediaries, but they serve different purposes and sit in different places in the network. Forward proxy, who it serves, clients, like your computer or phone, inside a private network. How it works. When you, client A, B, or C, want to access a website, your request first goes to the forward proxy. The proxy then sends that request to the internet, web server A or B. The response comes back through the proxy to you. Why it's used? Privacy. It hides your IP address from the websites you visit. Access control. Organizations can block certain websites. Caching. It stores frequently accessed data to speed up browsing. Think of it like a middleman shopper you tell them what you want, they go get it, and the store never knows who you are. Reverse proxy who it serves, web servers inside a private network, how it works. When someone on the internet, client A, B, or C, tries to access a website, their request first hits the reverse proxy. The proxy decides which internal server, web server A or B, should handle the request. It forwards the request and returns the response to the client. Why it's used. Load balancing. Distributes traffic so no server gets overwhelmed. Security. Protects servers from direct exposure and DDoS attacks. SSL management. Handles encryption slash decryption to reduce server load. It's like a receptionist at a company visitors come in, and the receptionist directs them to the right department without letting them wander freely. Would you like to go deeper into how proxies affect performance or security?